All right, y'all, so I just wanted to record this separately, right? My first shots with the MPX. We got our for muzzle device for the Yankee Hill. We're gonna screw that on, run it suppressed, but first shots. That's a tapper. Nice, real nice. All right, guys, today, y'all made me do it, man. We got the MPX K. So you guys have been saying for the most part to uh, try out the MPX because I've been talking so wholly about my Scorpion, how it's my main home defense weapon. You know, I've been utilizing that for about over a year now. I have a MP5, which I love, and I think it's probably the best shooter in my collection. Alongside with the MP5, of course, I got my also, that you have not seen yet, but uh, my, uh, vector you know the vector as well the vector the scorpion and the mp5 are some of my favorite pistol caliber carbines in my collection and as well as home defense but you guys have been saying over and over nah man the mpx the mpx sigs mpx is the best thing yet and we know that the mpx has been around for quite some time there's actually been some different variations some longer than the other this is i guess the newest the current uh, generation the current model of the mpx which is the mpx k and the mpx k slightly shorter than the original mpx but there are different barrel systems that sig offers for you to be able to switch out so you can get the longer eight inch barrel i think you can get the longer handguard to go along with it or you can get the longer handguard and have that longer you know that same barrel length to have that suppressor you know like we have here tucked in um, it has a and hopefully i'm saying this correctly a timmy trigger phenomenal youtube it's not a hair trigger. It's a Timmy trigger, okay? Keep that in mind. No bump stocks either, okay? So keep that also in mind. But the thing is phenomenal. I mean, let's just hear this thing ride out. You feel It's nothing. I would say that it's definitely, in my opinion, uh, probably going to replace a Scorpion. It's just very, very, very soft as a shooter. And forgive me, I don't know... The gas system that is utilized here but when we go back to the crib i'm gonna make sure I'll, i know it then but it's a different type of gas system it's not like a direct blowback it's not a roller delay like an mp5 it's its own unique gas system that is utilized here it's an extreme soft shooter at the end of the day and we do have the new romeo 4 this is the 4t that has been brought out it replaced the whole you know solar model on the top the little solar panel went back with the buttons and this thing pairs magnificently with this uh mp X K. It's just amazing. And also, SIG is also shipping all of their pistols, MPX as well as Rattlers, with the SIG MCX brace. So this will be coming as is if you end up going and grabbing an MPX or a Rattler anytime soon. As far as for the spears and all that, I'm not too sure, but I do know for the Rattlers and the MPX models, those things will be popping up fairly shortly. Oh, hold on. Excuse me. He was just sitting over there. Uh, but the thing pairs wonderfully with this uh, Yankee Hill. I got the R9. I've been utilizing it for the most part for, you know, my MP5, my uh, Scorpion, as well as my Vector. One of my biggest gripes with this gun that I didn't learn about until later is it's a Swiss gun in a way. You know, SIG, I believe it's over in Swiss, right? Well, the muzzle device on here is not your typical 1 by 28 uh, threading pitch. It's a left-handed 13L or something like that. The threads are backwards. So how you would normally tighten it, that's actually loosening it. And how you loosen it is how you normally tighten it. So when pairing this with a suppressor, which you got to twist on, this is a trilog actually, it's extremely hot, but I have it trilogged on, but direct is definitely not your best ordeal because tightening your suppressor on, you're gonna be unloosening your muzzle device. It's kind of weird, but yeah, I mean, I'll just deal with it. I got a trilog on here currently now. I need to go home and tighten it a little bit more, but it, it works wonderfully and 
I haven't had no issues on it whatsoever. The reason why I really do like this though is because unlike the Scorpion, which the Scorpion has picked it up from its previous gen, it's definitely gotten better in my opinion. This thing though runs just like a AR-15 as far as controls go. The Scorpion 3 Plus, the new Scorpion, right? It has a lot of those AR capabilities as well, like the mag release and all that. It does have uh, some of those, I would say, similarities. They, made, they, they try to make it more AR-like for us on that new 3 Plus. But for the MPX, it's like that out the box. You got Ambi running throughout the whole entire gun. Ambi safety on both sides, Ambi. You got mag release, bolt release, mag release here as well. So you got a full like AR-15 platform running on this PCC. It's pretty much like an AR-9, but AR-9 is more than like, you know, they're kind of like direct impingement, direct blowback. This isn't like that. This is a extremely, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> I tend to hit you in the head. No, Shells are flying, but it's a, it's extreme soft shooter. I love it, man. Um, you guys definitely were correct. You guys have been telling me MP5 is cool. I like it. Scorpion is amazing, but you got to get an MPX. And what I also noticed is the MPX out the box beats a Scorpion out the box. That's another thing. Or a MP5 or a Vector. It, it just comes with everything you need from all the Ambies and all that and above. So I really do like this gun. Um, it's definitely might end up being the uh, night standard at the end of the day. And it's extremely, extremely compact. I mean, this thing, take the suppressor off. I fit it in a Vector little pouch bag. I'll show you when I get home, but yeah, this thing, I love it. Charging handle, Ambi. Yeah, MPXK, bam! The Sig Sauer MPXK. You guys asked me to review this bad boy. You guys told me that I was tripping when I made the statement of saying that my favorite home defense gun was the Scorpion. I might even said it was the best as far as it's my opinion, right? You guys said you ain't tried the MPX. You need to try the MPX because the MPX is better. And after this first shot, I would say, um, I. I think you guys might be right. So I went out and tried the MPX. We did our first shots. We're gonna do another follow-up, maybe a thousand rounds in or 500 to a thousand rounds in. We're gonna do a lot of videos on this bad boy because this bad boy is everything that you guys said it was. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful and amazing PCC at the end of the day. Very compact, extremely small. I mean, look at this. This is it folded. This thing can fit, take out the magazine, put this thing in a bag and it's ready to go. And comparing this to my Scorpion, I mean, there's just not really, and it's, it's trust me, I know I, like gun is loaded in my face, but there's no bolt in here at all, okay? Let me just show y'all. See, I don't think I'm tripping. There's no bolt in there, so we're, we're okay. But comparing the lengths, guys, I mean, and that's just all the way out. Folded, this Scorpion is nice, still compact, but it's nowhere as small as this bad boy. And then you got the AP5, I mean, you could see it there yourself. There is a MP5K, AP5K, which is a smaller model, which we probably can compare that more so too, but I still am choosing this over those two. KP9, we might got a little bit of a comparison, which we're gonna do a video on all that, stay tuned. But with that being said, you have here the MPX. It is a short stroke gas system, PCC um, pistol caliber carbine, but also this is in pistol format with the MCX brace from SIG that is now being shipped with these guns. So if you end up getting one that will come with the brace now, as well as I believe the Rattlers will be coming with braces in the near future. But with that being said, I mean, this thing is a very compact, extreme smooth shooter. Uh, it has this Timmy trigger. YouTube is not a hair trigger. I promise you it's not a hair trigger. It's called a Timmy trigger, but this Timmy trigger, guys, I mean, let me just show you how crazy it is, right? Check out the reset. Three, two, one. It's very, very crisp. I was having some trouble shooting it because it's so flat. There's times I'm shooting it and I'm not letting off enough because that little bit of a let go to reset, the reset is extremely small. It allows you to stay on target. It shoots extremely smooth. When it comes to guns overall, right? Now let's just lay it out in a home defense type of situation, right? 
The MP5, I think, is one of these most smoothest shooters out there, if not the best, okay? The MP5, the AP5, the Zeniths, MP, this, you get what I'm saying? They all kind of are built the same a little bit, okay? Let's just keep it that way. But with that being said, I chose the Scorpion over the MP5 because of the manual of arms, I want to say it's called, correct? Where, you know, you got to rack it back, take the mag out, put it back in, slap it to reload, where with a Scorpion, you can just simply take the mag out, put it back in, and press a toggle, and it, you know, bolt release is ready to go right back on target. There's no more having the rack or any of that. And you also got, of course, the ambidextrous lower of the safety, as well as for the mag release and bolt release. You have ambidextrous going on, so it's just very easy to you know release the bolt release the magazine to charge it all that i thought it did that well did it shoot better no it doesn't have that but i feel like the mpx it has all that it can shoot better like the same if not better okay i want to lean a little bit more to this this package is how small it is it shoots just as smooth as the mp5 in my opinion i'm sorry if you're an mp5 enthusiast i am one as well but this thing shoots just as good but it also has all of the ambidextrous lovely controls that is featured on the scorpion but better in my opinion because it's even closer to that you know ar-15 platform that we're so used to i hate the charging handle on the scorpion which is very similar to the mp5 but it's little and it slides out on sometimes it charges on accident this is a simple charging handle you're ready to go but you also got the bolt release if need be you it's just a beautiful overall gun as i say this short stroke piston so extremely accurate the suppression on here is amazing as well the only thing i don't like about the gun honestly is the thread pitch this is a tri lug which allows me to utilize it with the yhm but it comes with the typical bird cage but it is a thread pitch of a 13l or thir it's some weird swiss style thread pitch so you got to go get your own thread pitch for this bad boy at the end of the day and it's left-handed so lefty loosey righty tidy type of ordeal no it's the opposite when it comes to the swiss type of thread pitch featured on this gun that's about it but what i like though is that if you guys remember the mpxk is not the first mpx there was another mpx that was slightly bigger slightly longer and then they kind of shrunk it down with the newer version that they offer which is the k version but they still offer the barrels of the longer versions like an eight inch barrel and then the four inch barrel and they also offer i believe a eight inch handguard a six one inch handguard and a four inch i could be wrong but they offer those still original handguard and barrel links out there so i can get a longer handguard if i want to tuck in this suppressor a little bit and have a little bit more a little bit more furniture a little bit more hand hands-on you know at the end of the day which maybe down the road i might do but i really like this platform i'm running the romeo 4t which we will be doing a review on very very soon as well comes with one magazine i wish we could get more i, I think that's like we need more than one mag but hey to each its own it is multi-cal now sig hasn't done nothing yet but it does say multi-cal multi-cal means that it could take another gun another type of magazine which you could see that the the magazine weld is pretty big so i don't know 45 potentially down the road multi-cal means something a simple barrel swap a simple bolt swap or a bolt head swap i don't know how different that is for 45 acp to 9 millimeter but a simple barrel swap and a bolt head or a bolt carrier or whatever it is utilized in here because i'm not big on the ar9 platform really but simple swaps of that and a magazine you could be running maybe a uh mpu like a ump mpu ump sig come on now Am I right though? U M P. Okay, now wait. M P U. I'm about to hit up Sig, man. I need to run that, man. This, it, it's literally the U M P, but you just move the letters around. And you got the Sig M, you know M P U. Yeah. Ah, we need that. We need that Sig. I would love to have this in 45 at the end of the day. But we're gonna run more through it. I might even swap out for another brace style down the road. I don't know, but this thing, extremely compact at the end of the day. I mean, once again, like the, the regular MP5 is still longer than this with the suppressor. Like I said, I might need to have like the MP5K to kind of get a better thing, because this is the K as well, to get a little bit better. But I mean, this thing is clean, man. This is dope. You guys were right. I gotta listen to y'all moving forward. I will listen to y'all moving forward. This is probably the new uh, home defense at the end of the day. I just love this, it just goes well, man. 
But uh, yeah, SIG MPXK. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I'm out. Peace.